This place, new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanished away. See in this space our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the haughty, gather us in the proud and the strong. Give us a heart so meek and so lowly, give us the courage to enter the song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, I invite you to express our prayer of thanksgiving for all the blessings we receive from the Lord here in our personal life, in our families, in our parish community, in our Diocese of San Diego, the whole Universal Church the needs of uh, our Pope Francis and the whole world. And also for the special intention for the repose of the soul of Antonio Algas and for our personal intentions. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie Let us pray. God of might, give it every good gift. Put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by depending our sense of preference, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. 
We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will, be, will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. The Lord comes to judge the earth. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. upon me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good gladding tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind. To the oppressed, go free. And to those who proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all the synagogue looked upon him intently. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself and say, do here in your native place 
the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zephyrath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha, Elisha, the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Nahum, the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through their midst of them and went away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Today, the scripture invites us to, to think about the message that uh, it offers to each one of us. And the Psalm 96 invites us to, to sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all your lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. And it's what we see every day, uh, the marvelous things that God has done for all of us. It's the presence of the love of God in us, in our families, in our communities, in our church, and the invitation to always uh, praise the Lord for his love, and the invitation also from the gospel of St. Luke, how Jesus connect the Old Testament and the New Testament when he went to the temple, and he went to serve. He read the scripture uh, from the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. It is the Holy Spirit who guided him, you know, to do his ministry, to proclaim the good news to the poor, to proclaim freedom to other, to other people, especially uh, the people who need freedom. And at the end, he said, today is accomplish this word in me. This is the Messiah promised by God in the Old Testament that is with them. And it's the now that we should, you know, open our eyes to see the presence of the Lord. And he did his ministry with the presence of the Holy Spirit. And for us, it's an invitation also that every day that we should ask the gift of the Holy Spirit the third person of the Holy Trinity to do our mission and also to make 
the right judgments. Because, you know, people around Jesus, when they listen to his message, he says, it's a beautiful message. But then the judgment came, the prejudice. That this guy is not the son of Joseph. His mother is Mary. What is he talking about? Sometimes, prodigies, we reject people. And Jesus suffered rejection from his friends, from his native place. Because his father was a carpenter, working family. But that was his decision to be in this humble working family. That was the decision of God. But he suffered rejection from his own people, from his hometown, Nazareth. And it's an invitation, you know, how important it is that every day we should ask the Holy Spirit that they help us to guide us, you know, to make the right judgment. And that Jesus came to help the poorest people, to bring salvation, to bring good news. And this is the ministry of the church. And this is the reason we listen to the Pope Francis. You know, let's work together. Let's work for the kingdom of God. Let's help, let's help the poorest people, like Father from Africa. He was sharing his experience yesterday in his message. And it's beautiful to see the presence of the church providing good news to the poor people. Continue doing the missions of Jesus. I came to proclaim good news, to establish the kingdom of love, the kingdom of mercy, the kingdom of forgiveness, the kingdom of peace. And this is our ministry. Continue the mission of Jesus. And I invite you to think about first, this is a beautiful message from the Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord uh, and tell the people, tell the nations the wondrous th the deeds, actions, salvation that God brought to all of us to express our thanks to the Lord every day for all he has done for us. And secondly, do we help Jesus to continue doing his ministry of proclaiming freedom, peace, justice, especially helping the poorest people around the world? has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father. Let us call upon him in gratitude and say, Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. For all who are discerning a call to a religious vocation, may the Holy Spirit give them the courage and grace to respond generously. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. 
for policymakers. May the Lord of life inspire in them a desire to protect life in all stages from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who grieve, may the hope of life in Christ bring them comfort and conscience. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. For his faith community, may Christ lead us in an ever-deepening love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. For the departed faithful, may they soon be in the presence of God with full joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. For the repose of the soul of Antonio Algas, let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. And for the intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Almighty Father, you have brought us to the light of a new day. Keep us safe to the whole day from every sinful inclination. May all our thoughts, words, and actions aim to do what is pleasing to you in your sight. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. To Jesus Christ, our Sovereign King, who is the world's salvation, all praise and homage do we bring, and thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus, Victor, Christ Jesus, Ruler, Christ Jesus, Lord and Redeemer. Thy reign extend, O King benign, to every land and nation. For in thy kingdom, Lord divine, alone we find salvation. Christ Jesus, victor, Christ Jesus, ruler, Christ Jesus, Lord and redeemer. To thee and to thy church, great King, we pledge our heart's oblation. Until before thy throne we sing in endless jubilation. Christ Jesus, victor, Christ Jesus, ruler, Christ Jesus, Lord and Redeemer. Christ, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what is celebrated in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him <clears throat> you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For thou to was in form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and archangels and the thrones and dominions and with all hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis sunt celi et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, hosanna in excelsis. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all his work in wisdom and in love. You formed men and women in your own image and entrusted the whole world of his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, they might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience, he has lost your friendship. You did not abandon them to the dominion of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the, to the full. Therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, we see himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were the supper, he took bread blessed and broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of wine, he gave thanks and he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and the place of resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand and as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake in this one bread, and one chalice, that gathering to one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servants, your servant Francis, our Pope, and Benedict, our Bishop Robert, all the bishops, and all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with this sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into our heavenly inheritance with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles and saints, St. Francis of Assisi, who is in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death. May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await to the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord will be with you always. Brothers and sisters, let us share that peace of Christ with one another. And you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. to Jesus he is the scepter he is the throne Alleluia he is the triumph he is the victory alone Hark the songs of peaceful Zion Thunder like a mighty flood, Jesus out of every nation hath redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, King eternal, thee the Lord of lords we own. Alleluia, born of Mary, earth thy footstool, heaven thy throne. Thou within the veil hast entered, robed in flesh, our great high priest. Thou on earth, both priest and victim, in the Eucharistic feast. Alleluia, alleluia, glory be to God on high. Alleluia to the Savior, who has won the victory. Hallelujah to the Spirit, font of love and sanctity. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, to the triune majesty. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbors. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us go forth sharing the gospel. Thank you. Thanks be to God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. From all that dwell below the skies, let the Creator's praise arise. Let the Redeemer's name be sung through every land by every 